Dear student friends, welcome to the problem solving session on Cauchy Residue Theorem. In this session, we are going to evaluate few problems using Cauchy Residue Theorem whose poles of order 1 are simple poles. Evaluate integral over C sin pi z square plus cos pi z square divided by z minus 1 into z minus 2 where C is the simple closed curve. Here it is given as mod z equal to 3. In the basic video, we learned what is mean by simple closed curve and how to sketch this curve. So we are going to do the problem in a systematic way. Let us assume my step 1 as given region mod z equal to 3. And we know that mod z equal to 3 is a circle with center 0, 0 and radius 3. At first we are going to visualize the diagram and it is very important you have to draw the diagram for exam point of view. So now let us take the axis. Since my center is 0, 0 and radius is 3, my circle is going to pass through the point 3, 0, 0, 3, minus 3, comma 0 and 0, comma minus 3. You can visualize this and you can mark the points. Now you can see the shaded region represents the circle mod z equal to 3. Now in the exam point of view, you don't want to draw all the informations like labels in x and y axis, grid, nothing. Draw a crisp diagram with center, radius and some points where the circle is passing through. Step 2. I am going to find the poles. For this, I am going to take the denominator of the given problem and I am going to equate the denominator to 0. So z minus 1 into z minus 2 equal to 0. The solution for this is z equal to 1 comma 2. And now you can see the power of z minus 1 is 1 as well as the power of z minus 2 is also 1. So we say z equal to 1 is a simple pole or pole of order 1 since the power is 1. Now we know z equal to 1 means the point is 1 comma 0 and we can see the point 1 comma 0 roughly somewhere here in the diagram. So this point lies inside the circle. Therefore, z equal to 1 is a simple pole lies inside C. Next, similarly, I have to take z equal to 2. When I take z equal to 2, immediately I will say the point is 2 comma 0. 2 comma 0 is also lying inside the circle. Therefore, z equal to 2 is a simple pole lies inside C. Here, both the points are lying inside the circle C. Now, let us go into the step 3. So, we have to write all the key points. Take your problem, whatever it is given, assume it as f of z and then fill it. My f of z is sin pi z square plus cos pi z square divided by z minus 1 into z minus 2. Next, the given region is mod z equal to 3. And the third one, we found the poles are z equal to 1 and z equal to 2. And finally, we are going to use Cauchy residue theorem. My Cauchy residue theorem says integral over c f of z dz is equal to 2 pi i into sum of the residues. Here we have two poles that is z equal to 1 and 2 both lie inside. So I have to find residue of 1 as well as residue of 2. If suppose for example some point B which is lying outside the circle then the residue is going to be 0 at the particular point B. So I write the Cauchy residue theorem integral over c f of z dz is 2 pi i r of 1 plus r of 2. The next step is we are going to find the residues r of 1 and r of 2. Since z equal to 1 and as well as z equal to 2 both are simple poles we know the formula for residue r of a is equal to limit z tends to a z minus a into f of z. This is true only for simple poles. Now since z equal to 1 is a simple pole lies inside C, we are going to find R of 1. R of 1 is nothing but limit z tends to 1 
z minus 1 into f of z. We know f of z from step 3. Substituting this, we get the following. Now I can cancel this z minus 1 and applying the limit z tends to 1. We get simply sin pi plus cos pi divided by 1 minus 2. Sin pi is 0 and cos pi is minus 1 because we know that cos odd pi is minus 1 and cos even pi is going to be plus 1. In the denominator we have minus 1. So minus into minus plus therefore residue at the point 1 is going to be 1. Next z equal to 2 is also a simple pole lies inside C. So R of 2 is limit z tends to 2 z minus 2 into f of z. In the same way now we will cancel this and applying the limit 2 we get sine 4 pi 2 square is 4 and cos 4 pi in the denominator we get 2 minus 1. Just now I said cos even pi is 1 and cos odd pi is minus 1. For all sin n pi, where n is an integer, it is going to be 0. So 0 plus 1 divided by 2 minus 1, it is 1. So we get 1. Therefore, R of 2 is also 1. So we found the two residues. R of 1 is 1 and R of 2 is 1. And finally, step 5, we are going to apply Cauchy residue theorem. Integral over C, f of z dz is equal to 2 pi i into sum of residues. This is my Cauchy residue theorem. Here we have only two residues, that is R of 1 and R of 2. Now substituting the values, we get 4 pi i. Therefore, for the given question, the solution is 4 pi i. Therefore, the solution for the given question is 4 pi i. Hope you understand students. Next, for more clarity, I am going to take the same problem with different curve. Evaluate the same, but here the curve is mod z equal to 3 by 2. In the previous problem, mod z is equal to 3. So let us go step by step. First, we identify the given region as mod z equal to 3 by 2. When I say mod z equal to 3 by 2, it is a circle with center 0, 0 and radius 3 by 2, that is 1.5. Now we have to visualize the diagram. Let us take the axis and here the center is 0, 0 and the radius is going to be r equal to 3 by 2 that is 1.5. So it is going to pass through the point 1.5 comma 0 or you can simply take 3 by 2 comma 0. Here we can say 0 comma 3 by 2 and similarly minus 3 by 2 comma 0 and 0 comma minus 3 by 2. Now we can see the circle and we mark this points. So the shaded region represents mod z equal to 3 by 2. Now as I said earlier, for exam point of view, we don't want to draw the grids and all the unnecessary things. Just crisply draw the circle, mark the center, radius and some points. Step 2, we are going to find the pole. For this, I am going to take the denominator and equate to 0. When I solve this, I get the points z equal to 1 and 2. Now let us take the point z equal to 1. If I say z equal to 1, obviously it is going to be 1 comma 0 because z equal to 1 is nothing but x plus i equal to 1. 1 I can write this as 1 plus i 0. So now we can easily find that x comma y is 1 comma 0. So the point 1 comma 0 lies inside the circle. So z equal to 1 is a simple pole because the power of z minus 1 is 1. z equal to 1 is a simple pole lies inside C. Next we are going to take the point z equal to 2. If I take z equal to 2, I can rewrite this as x plus i equal to 2 plus i 0. Therefore, the point x comma y is 2 comma 0. My 2 comma 0 lies outside the circle and the power of z minus 2 is also 1. So, z equal to 2 is a simple pole lies outside C. Next, we go for the very important step, key points. People may ask, why I want to write key points? Already we did everything. In a hurry, some students may do mistake. So, write all the information given in the problem. As I said, assume whatever it is given in the problem as f of z. My f of z is 
sin pi z square plus cos pi z square divided by z minus 1 into z minus 2. My given region is what is it equal to 3 by 2 and my poles are 1 and 2 but 1 lies inside, 2 lies outside. Finally, write the Cauchy residue theorem. Integral over c f of z d z is equal to 2 pi i. Here only one pole lies inside. So I want to find the residue for that pole. For the pole which lies outside, the residue is automatically 0. So I don't want to mention it in the formula. Step 4, write the formula for residue. Since z equal to 1 is a simple pole, R of A is going to be limit Z tends to A, Z minus A into F of Z. Since Z equal to 1 is a simple pole, I want to find R of 1, that is limit Z tends to 1, Z minus 1 into F of Z. We know F of Z from step 3, substitute here, cancelling this Z minus 1 and Z minus 1, substituting the limit, we get sin pi plus cos pi divided by 1 minus 2, we know sin pi is 0, cos pi is minus 1, in the denominator we have minus 1. So minus 1 by minus 1, we get 1. Therefore, R of 1 is 1. Finally, we are going to substitute the residue in the Cauchy residue theorem. We know Cauchy residue theorem formula, integral over C, f of z, d z is 2 pi i into sum of the residues that is r of 1. So we have 2 pi i into 1. The answer is simply 2 pi i. This is my final solution. The difference between the first and second example is the region. In the first example, we have mod z equal to 3. In the second example, we have 3 by 2. Here the poles are 1 and 2. Since the first example circle with radius 3, both points lie inside but in the second example my radius is 1.5 so only z equal to 1 lies inside and 2 lies outside hope you understand students thanks for watching hope you found this video helpful subscribe to our channel and share it to your friends see you in the next video bye bye